This is to a question of the evening. The Apple invasion has the iPhone revolutionized mobile technology. SMS India yes or India no to us at 56388. Also log on to ndtv.com and cast your vote on verdict. Well, joining us now, Neam Bhushan, technology uh, editor, technology journalist, and also Rajiv Makni, who will be with us uh, all the way from Berlin. Uh, Neam, first to you, it's, if it's Apple, it's really in your face. But how much of this is hype? How much of it is true substance? Well, if I can joke about it a little, uh, Steve Jobs is the Pied Piper of <laughs> Silicon. You know, he makes it feel as if, you know, he's a cosmic mother giving birth to the ultimate baby when he's just trying to catch up and desperately too. In fact, what you must realize is that the iPod itself is under threat because in India, as we speak, everybody's mobile phone has MP3 and songs. So why the craze? Oh, the Everyone's talking about it. it. It's created this huge buzz. Is that just shrewd marketing? Well, it's more than marketing. I, I bet Steve Jobs tends to surprise himself too here because basically if you look carefully, there's no, though there are more than 300 patents taken out on, uh, on the iPhone and Steve has his own name on, on a few of them, mm. the truth is that there is nothing revolutionary or groundbreaking, right. yet it's a must-have. Now this is because of a statement that Dave Eslinger, uh, who is a very famous product designer made a few years ago, he said it's about design. Right. Form must follow emotion. But why is, couldn't they do it say with the Mac? I mean, oh, the Mac did it first, you know, so he's, he's building on the legacy. Right. See, the, the thinking in the previous century was form must follow function. Right. But he's saying form must follow emotion, you see. Ultimately, people are only going to use it for SMS and for calling right. and 90% to show off that right. I've got it, you know. But what's the upshot here? Besides the cost, of course. Well, the upshot is that the, I would not call it a revolution, but it's a punch in the face of everybody making plastic looking phones and selling them for 25,000 rupees. The baby gets real. It's time right. to come down to 8,000 rupees, maybe 5,000. Because if you look carefully, Apple compares it to the Blackberry and the Nokia N95. Right. And what you don't notice is that he's looking at it at one third the price. Right. So if Which you is something that should really work, right? I mean, so in the India, price you know, should click. Oh, of course. Now, why does he want to sell it? That price is also fascinating. But, please understand, everybody has to get the gloves off right. and get down. Right. To and the consumer, of course, perhaps will be the big winner, will be left smiling at the end of the day. Or, or is, is the jury still out there on that too? Uh, a hypnotized consumer of <laughs> Apple will be smiling. Okay. A little skeptical, but uh, let's now go across to Rajiv Makni in Berlin. He's taken a look at the new iPhone and takes us through just what we can expect and uh, the ground reality, really. What all can a phone do after all? Yes, Natasha, it's Berlin in Germany is where I am. It's a beautiful day here, almost mid-evening, but as you know, the days are really long here, so it'll be like this for at least another four or five hours. But the news in Berlin is again almost all to do with the Apple iPhone. I'm here for a tech press conference called the Connecting the World and this has a gathering of maybe the top 500 techie journalists. So what it gives us is a great perspective. In San Francisco, Apple releases the iPhone. In Berlin, everybody's talking about the iPhone. But as always, if it's with Apple, it's always a new controversy after the other. So the first piece of news that comes out, it's faster, it's cheaper. That's the new Apple iPhone. But immediately after that, a lot more starts coming out and there are too many questions which are yet to be answered. So what I'm going to do is something very interesting. I'm going to ask some of those questions and inside there where the event is going on, I have maybe the top tech journalists from all across the world who are not pure Apple fans. They're there in San Francisco, obviously. These guys will have a more neutral viewpoint. So the questions that are really coming up, is it actually cheaper? It's $200, $199. But no longer can you take an iPhone and take it home and activate it. You have to activate it at the counter itself. So is it really cheaper? Because out of pocket, it'll be five to $600. Even more, the fact that you have to activate it at the counter itself, does that mean the black market, the unlocked Apple iPhones that so many of us even in India have, is that market over? 
even more importantly, did they really change things around? The rumor was there's going to be a bright red Apple iPhone with 64 GB did not come. There's a white one which I don't think is going to really set anything on fire. Even more importantly, the cover behind has gone plastic. So, so that beautiful chrome, it's plastic. Is the GPS full form? Is this actually a big upgrade or just an evolutionary upgrade? Will it come to India? Obviously, when it comes to India, it will be this 3G one, but will it be subsidized? Lots of questions about the Apple iPhone and the answers are right inside. So let's go in and find out from all the top techies who are not rabid Apple fans. Uh, I've had 3G phones in the past and while the iPhone is really compelling in the first generation, I missed having 3G access. Uh, the, the broadband speeds just aren't there in the original iPhone. In where I'm from, in the U.S., um, we generally activate the phones in the stores already. So I think actually it was more unusual to have the original iPhone activation method over iTunes. That was very peculiar. Um, now this will be much more standard and probably more comfortable for a lot of U.S. users. Um, as far as the cost, I, for most people, I think the fact that the cost has come down is going to be quite attractive. Um, and the, the out-of-pocket expense, I think, we're used to having two-year contracts. And I, I think that most people expect to have to go into a new contract when they get a new phone. So that isn't going to really be uh, a factor that sways most people. You know, a red iPhone would be interesting, but I don't really know that that matters that much. I, I think really uh, there's so many cases you can get for the iPhones and the skins and things that I don't think it matters really that much what color it is. I think that, that it's, it's, uh, it's good that the price are... are down, but but the 3G, the 3G net that that now support it's it's, it's a very real improvement. I don't think that I I, I be I will buy an iPhone. Uh, in my way of thinking, I think uh, yes, it's uh, a sort of revolution. Yes, uh, it's a very good thing what's happening because. You see, we are living in uh, troubled times, and a uh, lot of misuse of mobile phones have created problems. Stop uh, black market uh, business of most of these phones. It could be used for dangerous purposes. So I think uh, this step is a step forward, and it's a positive step. And yes, it's going to relieve many organizations, many governments, of uh, much worry that they had about open sale of these mobile phones in, uh, let's say, black markets or uh, um, places who are not authorized to actually deal in these phones.